Aren't you using it, Ben? I am. What are you supposed to be using it for? Recording the class for Joel. Really? Yep. He gave you a video camera to record the class. That's pretty awesome. How's it going, hon? What? Apparently they did. I'm on your Yeah. Ben. Um, I'm filming your class today on behalf of Joel. Congratulations, by the way. I never did this. Yeah, rock, climbing. rock climbing. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, is it brass or iron? Brass monkey. Brass, brass, brass monkey. monkey. That's the best thing. I know. Put that in your resume. How many people were in it? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there is, I think, 75 people there. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Nice. Wow. That's pretty yeah, kick ass, Ben. Good to you, Ben. Brass monkey. That funky so monkey. Was it a time Brass thing, monkey Brass junkie. Monkey. What? Like a time thing? <laughs> well, we had Brass monkey junkie. That funky monkey. monkey. We had like three oh, hours to climb as much as we could. Oh, how far you got? Well, no, there's like different routes. Yeah. And, and, and you push people off. Which came out yeah, when I was in junior high. And we're so stupid. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel like I was present at the birth of something important. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here's my list of things to do. Snipe people. I mean, can you. Oh. Nick, can you close the door? Oh. Oh. <laughs> so oh. it was necessary to go. Oh. When oh. Nick walked Anybody in the door. Not have one of these. I have one. Do you have one? Yes, I have one of those Good. yellow booklets of words. Excellent. All right, we're going to do two things today. One, we're going to clear up the story issue. And two, you are going to give me respect for the fact that this is my list. And this list expires at 8 a.m. tomorrow. It involves all of that. I love you. And therefore, I'm going to give you a reading assignment. That is not unreasonable to be done today, tomorrow, and over the spring break, and you're going to come back with that. That's a lot, a lot of time for very, for actually good reading. Um, now, is that a bus schedule? This note right here, with all the things on it, so far I have not been able to cross. Oh, I can cross one thing off. But oh, two things off. I just but, realized that you're sitting over here instead of over there. It is so daunting that I actually had to write, uh, there's a guy named Al Franken, he's running for Senate oh. in uh, Minnesota, and he's a, uh, yeah, well, he's a he's, commercial. He's, he's a comedian, commercial. and he was on Saturday Night Live, and he used to do Stuart Smalley's Daily Affirmations, and he'd read things like, um, uh, you know, let's see, like, uh, a man is what he thinks of. Can I have to throw a book? And then, come on. Yeah, you throw it. Can you just come out, please? And so he would give these daily affirmations. When I wrote this last night at 8 o'clock when I was leaving here, and I still wasn't done, I wrote down, I love you, Mark, no matter what. That's how daunting this is. I needed to remind myself that I was worthwhile. At least in my own eyes. <laughs> That's so sad. It's okay. It's just I need to give you a context for where I am. So now I want to hear a random sampling of the stories that you told me. Hey, you. Okay, Daniel. What did you come up? With? Yeah, just quick. Okay. The good old farm, McGregor's, is run by humans. Not that that matters. Yeah. The animals do all the work. Every day they would rise with the doodle of the rooster and sleep with the, the what? Doodle, <laughs> and sleep at the signs of dark. Any time in between, they worked. Now, in the middle of a particularly warm summer, the humans noticed the animals' work was decreasing in quality. They decided to join the farms around them in buying a tractor and plow. The plow arrived weeks later, ready to work, leaving the horses to do nothing but death. Of course, this replacement upset all the animals, as they thought they could also be replaced. Excellent. Excellent. Next. Anyone else? Yes. Um, <laughs> not wrong. Okay, mine 
is that um, I didn't write down what it's okay. okay. That the farmer goes to milk the cow every day, but to, to get money to pay rent because it's back in the day when they did that. Um, and then, but he always has calluses on his fingers, so the cow doesn't feel good when it's getting milked. So it tells the ferret, which is like the farmer's pet in the house, and so the ferret bites off the farmer's hands. And then it hears later that when the farmer and the farmer have no money to pay no rent, can't milk the cow. Um, it hears that they have to give the cow to the slaughterhouse to make money. And right. so then the ferret doesn't want the cow to die because they're friends. And then so they go into town. And for a while, because there's no monkeys in the story, it's like the one that holds the symbol. <laughs> <laughs> the guy that does this thing. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> but that's Organ not, grinders monkey. Yes. yes. So that's not profitable, en profitable enough, so then it comes back with one of those like machines that right, and it has like rubber, so then the cow comes You're out. really focused on and this cow yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to do it like go <laughs> and clap. Um, and then, so then they have enough money to pay rent after. And I guess the Aren't moral thing is don't bite the hand yeah. of the rent. Ah, really? uh, yes. well done. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good generic uh, focus, that's good, yeah. I like that. Awesome. Okay, excellent. Anyone else with the story contributions? Go! Do it! Um, and while you're doing that, can you take the network cable out of the back? Okay. So, one sunny afternoon, Clementine the dog, who lived on the Thompson's farm, was having a lovely chat with one of the pigs, Heidi. Heidi? Yes. What were you watching the dog? Okay, well, fine. The sheep. <laughs> It's not a farm animal. She changed the species of the animal. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that is not a dog. Very postmodern. Heidi had been telling Clementine all about the Henderson's farm and how they had been sending portions of their livestock to the so-called doctor. Clementine was shocked and very confused. She couldn't quite understand what Heidi was trying to say, but she knew it wasn't good. Just then, Billy, one of the farm's roosters, waddled over. He had a little <laughs> and began supporting Heidi's story with even more evidence. He explained that many of the farmers in the area had begun to do the same thing, but the important thing to know was that the animals never came back. Clementine is still confused. I just don't understand. What's happening to them, asked Clementine. Well, began Billy, I heard Thompson talking to Henderson about profits and shipping, shipping and something called a slaughterhouse. Whatever that was, Clementine did not like the sounds of it. She understood that some animals had to, had to part to feed the farmer and his family, but to take them away in dozens and ship them off to a slaughterhouse nonetheless. She just couldn't figure it out. Heidi continued her story. She had heard Thompson talking to Henderson about starting to do the same thing. Clementine was frightened and confused. Heidi and Billy's story had left her feeling quite lugubrious, and she decided she had to find out more. <laughs> you have five characters, right? I'm getting, I didn't finish it. It was going to be so good. The next day, Clementine set out for the city to speak to someone about this problem and figure out what she could do. Billy told her to go to Winnipeg. They could find all the answers there, and it wasn't too far from the farm. So Clementine walked Highway 59 all the way <laughs> to the developing downtown Winnipeg. She was amazed at all the people hustling and bustling at such a pace. All of the women in their bonnets and dresses. It was a completely different world to her, and she was not sure of where to find what she needed. And that's us far gone. Beautiful. Any any other contributions? <laughs> Come on in, Richie. Any complaints, comments? Go ahead. Well, I thought the farmer had gotten sick or something, and then with what? With the like, door's <laughs> locked. <laughs> yeah, the door might be locked. Yeah, Check the door. Right. Um, he could just go to town to like, raise money for the farm because it was going crazy or something. And right. then it came across a slaughterhouse. And then like peeped in and saw all this stuff. And I realized. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Was, like, oh. <laughs> cool. Okay. Time for the big reveal. Yes. <laughs> dun dun dun. Shake the camera a bit. Uh, the, the real story is once upon a time, there was no story. Do, 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 do. Saw that one coming. I talked to the movie about this in summer. Is that it? <laughs> Holy crap, this thing is crazy. Zoom. What I did. I'll be very upset about this. Listen, what I did <laughs> Sorry, no. was. I can tell you a story, but what I did. 
was I answered no to any question that started with a vowel. What? Or, <laughs> or was a form of the verb to be. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Except when I'd said no twice, in which case I said yes. Oh, I'm really, really sorry I didn't Facebook everybody last night. Now, yeah. what, yes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what, so, um, what would be the point <laughs> of doing this? Wow. We made the story out there. Trevor? To, to increase our imagination. To let you realize that this story writing thing, this heart of darkness, as dense as it is, as uh, difficult as it can be, as confusing as it is, is an act of whimsy, an act of passion, and it is at the heart of somebody's imagining. And because of that, it's open to our critique. We can look at it because when you make things up like you did, there's no reason for it besides you're making it up. That means it's pure. There's some purity there, which is why it allows us to look at literature, why, why literature can be looked at as an artifact, as an interesting, as an examination of the human spirit. Okay? I know that's a bit of an abstract lesson, but I also really want you not to lose in your study of literature the sense that literature is actually play. It's play with ideas. It's creating something that doesn't really exist from nothing. It's cool. And yeah, I want to give you a moment of inspiration. Everybody come into the middle of here and I want you to look forward to it. And um That's so weird. Yeah. Jaime, turn off the light. Come in the middle of here and look forward to my death. Do you see my death? Do you see my death? Fuck! Oh, 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 I got this call, I got this uh, email from one of my profs yesterday. She said, check out this hug. And I was like, oh, I've been out. Is it actually an email? If those papers fall off, oh my god, am I going to lose my mind. Okay, thank you. Uh, I got this email from a prof and said, check out this hug. I was like, oh, I better not open it at school. So I opened it up uh, just, just after I left school. And the story is this woman. Um, found a lion, an abandoned lion cub who'd been abused, and I, I don't know what the story was in terms of why it had been abused or whatever, but she raised, she kind of nursed back to health, and then when the lion got too big, she brought it to an animal shelter, and she didn't see it for a couple years, because it was at the animal shelter. She went back after two years, and this is what happened. Now watch, which, um, I think it shows it. Oh, come on. Show it again. Can you tell me what's going on? Top? Yeah, tell me what's going on. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah. It's so cool. Oh. It's like my, what my cat does, except for my nigga. <laughs> Isn't that? <laughs> <laughs> it's just so heartwarming. It's like this killer animal. It's just like it's just, oh hi, <laughs> oh hi, <Yeah. laughs> and those paws are twice the size They're of her like head. Face. <laughs> oh, 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 hi there. Anyway, <laughs> that and Brandon, I love you, Mark. No matter what, were the only things that got me through uh, yesterday. <laughs> I'm gonna take over okay. the building. Here's uh, you can turn the lights back on if you think. Which light gets back, Richie? Richie, do you want to? I'm sure you turn the whole thing, and then you're actually doing it. Like what's happening? Yes. Here's what I need to know that on April 7th will be true. Joel, I'm away. Who's 
<laughs> on April 7th, I need this to be true. You put red, and you probably want to mark this in your yellow books. A minute, boy. So So why isn't Joel here? You might have to mark it for me. <laughs> That's wow. Yeah, that one. What page? Well, it's, you don't even have to mark it in your books. You have to read the book. From a chippy tuna one to the back. You don't need to read the first four pages or one, two, three, four. Yeah, you don't need to read these, these first four. Okay. Don't read them or don't bother with them. But read from Achebe to the back. Alrighty. Okay? Also, finish the novel. That's not that bad. Okay? Questions? What is this expected for? Monday, April 7th. So sometime over spring break, sit yourself down on a park bench. In a nice comfy chair, if you see someone, what's really nice is a bay window that has a little box seat in front of it. So if you see someone's house that seems unattended, put it in there, curl up with a lion or your favorite animal, get yourself a cup of coffee or a nice pot of tea. Don't drink too much of it or you'll be running to the bathroom, you'll get distracted. And just be like in the heart of darkness zone. All right? Good. Good, good, good. Oh, you I missed you. <laughs> you know what you do? Thank you for saving me. Whose camera is it? That's so awesome. Hey, Joel. <laughs> this is Franklin the Turtle. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not Franklin. It is Franklin. No, it's not. What? You're reading it. I'm done with you. Yeah. I'm now uh, marking. Did you want to film the class or like the lesson? The lesson. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess no idea. Yeah, like for the next 40 minutes, it's not going to be anything worthwhile. This is worthwhile, oh, Paul. Are reading for the rest of class? No. Yeah. We're watching Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, I have a video of already. Well, I can watch myself. Watch Ben. And his eyeball. Wait, I can zoom in without. Yeah, out. 800 times zoom. 800 times? So I can yes. zoom in on Miles' eye or something? Where's the uh, zoom? I don't know if you can get to his eye, but you can zoom in pretty I close. Is yeah. this the zoom? Yeah. Joel is going to spend an hour watching this and be ready to be in class. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. I'd be funny if there was a clover field. Joel's just watching. I'm looking at that. Oh, this place was sick beats for yeah, it's, like, it's like half the people in here die. There's a giant explosion that knocks out the wall. It's like, here, Joel, I got you in the classroom. Where's the map? I don't know. I think that's the map. Mine can probably go louder. I don't know what the words are. Not first four pages. Read from Akibi to the end. Don't forget. Oh, don't read that. Don't forget Paul and finish the book. All class. Finish the book. That says book.
I was writing from an awkward angle. I said book. I didn't say back. The I never got book. Facebook yesterday. I know. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know exactly. And tomorrow he's coming to the bar. Oh my god. <laughs> he's like I am. The book. Shabubla! Look at him just punch Trevor in the face. <laughs> but the really massive arm. <laughs> yeah, for the last summer. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I, I read a little bit of a synopsis. Just kind of made stuff up from there. What's the synopsis? Katie, mm -hmm. on the, if you guys don't know if you feel girlish yet, I'm like, 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 I'm like
Um, my mom said that um, I could have a couple people sleep over on grad night after the after at like five oh, yeah. in the morning, and she'd make us breakfast. But don't, but don't we have to go home after safe grad? No, not if you sign. If, if you write on the yeah. sheets that my mom's picking you up. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know. How to like Why did you just sleep inside? <laughs> well, if, if you were a guy, we would be laughing so really hard, but you're not. <laughs> Hey, Natasha! Natasha, come here! Oh, God. Look at these guys. They think they're going to graduate this year. <laughs> How many of you reasonably think you stand a chance of graduating this year? Yeah. No. That's 31.5 credits. Wait, Natasha, I hope so. Yeah, thanks! Jeez. Oh, 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 I'm going to be your first year. So first. You know? so you don't graduate, you should go to Calvary. So you should go to Calvary. Did you see it? Did you see it? But it would suck because they're going to Calvin. Did you put your hand up? For Did you just put your hand up for that? Hey, Mr. Cooley, is there any chance I could use your internet to show Katie something? Bird. But yours is. No, I'm using it. No, now I'm working. Uh, yeah. Are we supposed to be working right now? Yeah. We should. As long as you don't distract me and you understand what I expect of you, I'm fine. Good. Manuel. My bones hurt. I have one more problem. My back hurts so much it hurts. That's not funny. Peter. 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 Just yeah, I mean, that's so like part of the mock I was in the mock the whole night. Chris, I think this is it. Maybe tomorrow. That was a terrible high five. There'll be so but many people missing from our dodgeball teams yeah. that we'll just have to form it into one dodgeball team. That'd be pretty cool. For example, what time is it? I'm not on your team, but I don't know when it is. Are you? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Are you on your team? Are you on? I'm not on your team. Are you on his team or my team? Yeah, I think it's around one. Hey, Dan. I don't know if you play dodgeball tomorrow. I don't know if you signed up yet. No, first one is impossible. Never mind, we're signed up. That's because you're a sissy no and you don't know how to play dodgeball. It's like here, woman, cook my food. It's like, oh, I don't know how to cook. This food tastes burnt and chocolate. I need to find a grade 7 and a grade 8. I should just be like in the cafeteria. I need grade 7 and grade 8 for dodgeball. I need you all to be quieter than you are. Oh, that's true. Taken. Taken. <laughs> and they're useless. Yeah. So, Katie, when you said your mom said you could have a few people over after safe grad, how many is it? I don't know. Okay. I'm going to talk to her about it. But I said I wanted like more than one person. And I was like, can the guys stay over too? And she's like, yeah. We might not even, we might not sleep. But yeah. It's in the works. I, I doubt we'll sleep because you're just like, oh, you're not going to sleep. I have super robot work. Probably just all like reminiscing. Yeah, I'd be like, oh. If I cry, I'm going to cry. There's only one. Wait, wait. I can't cry at this point. I couldn't understand yeah, that. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, because it's in Japanese. Cry for the sake. Yes. English. I ain't cried. I'm just in class. <laughs> oh no, my spear broke. <laughs> How the hell is it no, I'm actually just yeah. oh, stabbed like maybe a hundred fish with it. What's it? Okay, it's just like a sharpened stick you're using? Well, a sharpened stick with a rock attached So, Paul, how much brawl have you played? Please sharpen it. Mr. Titley, hey, I don't want your Joseph Conrad in there. How much brawl have you played? Like, it's not moving the camera so much. Two and a half Disney. hours, because two days ago, my brother's friend brought over Brawl. Yeah. And so I played a snake. I got damn good the snake. Okay, I'm gonna have to whoop your ass with Mike, or Ike. 
Pit, Pit has the most cheapest it's smash awesome. move attack ever. Really? But Snake has an even cheaper one. He, he goes like off screen and shoots at you from afar with his grenade yeah. launcher. Oh, you mean they're super smash? He's crazy. Yeah. I don't even know what to do with him. Like every time, this like, because like, usually like, smash walk like, is once per game, like, right? Oh. I've never read that it does because when I was playing it came like once every two minutes. And so we we're like, oh my god, Smash Ball! And everybody just like, The later and later in the game, the more it comes, I believe, is what it is. So then, you like playing Wolf? Yeah, I also like playing Sonic, Samus, Dorio, Cunt Hog. Yeah. Now we're gonna look at the book that we're studying. Ben loves his heart of darkness. He sleeps by it. Are they loving it? So so wrong. the group across the room. This is how bored Chris is in class. <laughs> That's so stupid. Oh my gosh.